Hello, dear friend, whomever you may be and wherever you may be, welcome. I hope the subject of this newsletter and video grabbed your attention, even though it's a little long, because I truly believe this is a number one statement that I'll ever be able to share with you to encourage you in the very best way possible to learn a proven, dependable, repeatable method for creating. The creative process is the foundation to create everything else. I truly believe that. Before I go into details, I have a question to ask you. Not on a scale of 1 to 10 or 1 to 100, but on a scale of 0 to 36. Where do you believe we are in America today? Closer to the 36? Children, teenagers, and adults creating a great America? or closer to the zero, children, teenagers, and adults destroying a great America. I recently heard, two days ago, heard a survey that 10% of Americans, and I think the word I heard used was state, a productive state, 10% of Americans believe we are in a productive state, that we are on the correct path. Would that be a better way to term that? So instead, I'm here to encourage you. We can't fool ourselves. Have we learned a proven, dependable, repeatable method for memorizing? Is there any school in America teaching that? Absolutely not. In the same way, have, quote, you learned a proven, dependable, repeatable method for creating, or is there any school in America that's teaching that? Absolutely not. This is the path I'm recommending. Two methods. W. Edwards Deming, America's founding father of total quality management, a statistician, lived from 1900 to 1993. His one quote he wanted us to remember, only the method matters. Everybody's trying their best. Everybody wants to succeed, but by what method. It's that simple. So I to you, if you've learned this method for memorizing, what do these two letters, four letters stand for? These are two words and two words that pertain to the creative process. I don't know if we'd call them acronyms, but just the abbreviations. You should boom, boom, that quick. When I was an auto body mechanic, we had what we called a DA. If you were an auto body mechanic and I said, hey, go get the DA, what would you go get? Well, DA stood for, stands for dual action orbital sander. Everybody that's an auto body mechanic knows what a DA is. Everybody that's a creator that has read Robert Fritz's book, The Path of Least Resistance and Creating, and all the other books know what these letters stand for. Two words, two words in the creative process consciously aware of them. So when I'm sharing with you, the creative process is the foundation to create everything else. I look back on my life, both fit for my days in auto body, my days as a welder, my day, days in telev television production, drama, writing, dramatic writing, in sales, absolutely both in sales. The number one sales representative for at least four corporate companies, absolutely. So either you know or you don't know what this stands for. So two reasons why this came to my attention. Number one, I was recently in a car accident where I was almost taken from planet Earth in less than a minute. Gone. What's Russell been talking about anyways? This is it. This is what I've been sharing. This is why I, you, we need a conscious understanding of it fits for memorizing. When we're memorizing, we're using the creative process. It fits for everything. For a building, for a bridge, for drama, for a film, for a writing, for sales. It's everything. Someday you share with me how the creative process, you see it in a unique way that maybe not I'm not aware of. The other reason, the other way this is brought to my attention 
is I've been involved with product design companies, four different product design companies for two different products I'm currently inventing, creating, that pertain to creating the path of least resistance for two specific products. So in this six page presentation that I'm sharing with product design companies, the first one is Robert Fritz's quote, the most successful process for accomplishment in history. I've been sharing that page, that statement in our Healing Arts Day Spa newsletter for Create What Matters for probably 20 years. Still waiting for you. The other one that I share by Robert, the creative process. What is that? The art of the creative process. How to know what you want to create. I've been sharing those for years. For the product design company, the first product design company, I delivered because I'm always talking about Robert Fritz and here we're, going, we're creating the path of least resistance. So I, I better try and get them on board. Now they're creators because they're with a product design company. So they're creators. So how do I bring that their, to their attention? Well, I delivered to them Robert Fritz's book, Your Life as Art. Along with that, a box of C's candy, dark chocolate, and a video, Flash of Genius. And I'm asking them, hey, have one chocolate per chapter so we can get on the same page of creating two products for the path of least resistance. That's my best effort to create what matters. So I'm doing this with one product design company to really grease the wheel. They're located here in Arizona, in Gilbert, Arizona, close to our home. And I'm trying to really say, can we get on the same page together? So I'm sharing with you, here's one example. I like it this way. When I first met Tara Lynn in 1992, she would take two sons and four daughters to Native New Yorker. For $20, she would order 100 hot wings on Tuesday night with a pitcher of Pepsi. And I think she might have had a little uh, adult beverage, let's say, for herself. For $20, she would get out the door. Where are we today? 89 cents and climbing, from what I understand, but they may hit $1. And this is their special, mind you. Their Tuesday night special. $89. $89 versus $10. That's where we are in America today. And that's why I'm here to present to you. W. Edwards Deming, our founding father of total quality management, his one quote, only the method matters. Harry Lorraine, multiple memory books, super memory, super student, a proven, dependable, repeatable method for memorizing. Robert Fritz, my two favorite books, The Path of Least Resistance and Creating. Russell's about creating the path of least resistance. When I wrote my book, that was the emphasis. Why school sucks. It's not a question. It's a statement. Teaching America's students how to memorize and how to create to create a great America. W. Edwards Deming, when his daughter asked him at age 92, why do you work so hard? He worked tirelessly till he died in 1992. His statement? I'm trying to keep America from committing suicide. I hope you understand that we have to choose a path to create a great America. This is the path. This is a statement that I hope you'll contemplate and consider. Hold it in your mind. The creative process 
is the foundation to create everything else. Either you know it, or you don't know it. My favorite book by Robert Fritz. I got a lot of them. It's actually the one I gave to the product design company. Your life as art, the mechanics, the orientation, and the spirit of creating by Robert Fritz. As an auto body mechanic, I had to learn the mechanics and then I could orientate myself. What is it that I want to paint? And the spirit was there. It's the same way. We have to learn the mechanics and then the orientation and then the spirit of memorizing, the mechanics, the orientation, and the spirit of creating. Robert Fritz's new book, which I'm just breaking into, The Path of Least Resistance for Artists. I'm sure you'll agree with me, we all want to be artists. Agreed? Is there any better book, any better path? I hope you'll join us, myself. I don't see it. I don't, I've been sharing this now since about 1992. I don't see it. I'm actively engaged. I love to create and I love to share about creating. At the very least, I hope someday you'll be able to answer this question. What are these letters? What do they stand for? Either you know them or you don't. If you don't, please consider. I can't say it any clearer. If I was taken from planet Earth, this is what I would, will have on my gravestone. The creative process is the foundation to create everything else. Someday, please share with me how you see this in a unique way, which maybe I don't see. I see it everywhere. I see this everywhere. I can relate this to almost everything. I hope you too choose to learn, practice, and master, and share with others the creative process. Learning to become the creative force in your own life and then sharing that with your family and friends and co-workers.